My name is Patrick Smith. I am the president and CEO of L.I. Smith & Associates. As an engineer, problem solving is almost all we do. We are always presented with unique circumstances where uh, an owner or a developer or a municipality has either some sort of a, a dilemma with a limited budget, a confined space, uh, an inadequate service, and we're limited with what we can, how we can solve the problem, how we can um, correct an issue. Uh, so we have to work with within the confines of, of very specific parameters. Always, we would all love to be able to uh, go out and have tailor-made clothes, for instance. But unfortunately, most of us have to buy our clothes off the rack, and municipalities and people don't have the luxury of going all over from from shop to shop, community to community, looking for that perfect suit. So we have to work with the uh, parameters that are provided with us to come up with a solution. Uh, and that can be as simple as having a piece of property that's large enough to place a building on. Um, it could be as complex as uh, not having um, enough funding in order to do what they want. So we have to be able to scale down their development or their their construction project to fit within a budget the, there were many many courses that we took not only in college but leading up to college in high school um, a lot of the math classes that we took everything from uh, linear algebra up through calculus differential equations I've never used that in private practice. And I know that the kids are always uh, complaining. I complained, we all complained about, I don't know why we're having to do this. We're never gonna use this when we get out in the real world. There's a computer program that has this already in it and everything. And as an engineer, it was to teach us problem solving. And the math or the, the classwork would get complex, more complex. It built on the previous coursework, so you had to continue to learn it. But it was really how do you how do you solve this complex? How do you critical think? Where do you go and look for the answers that you might need? What sort of reference material? How and and I. I tell a lot of people a lot of times that they never really taught us a solution. They taught us how to go and find solutions to problems. Everyone who works here, no matter at what level, from bookkeeping, receptionists, uh, our surveyors, our engineers, Everyone is constantly problem solving. We, we're constantly working in an area of unknown. Uh, we don't have a predefined menu, if you will. For instance, some places you go into work and you know exactly what you're gonna do for, from the moment you walk in to the moment that you leave. Here, it's, it's always different because we are always, as a group, as a team, working together for problem solving. So every everyone begins to learn that technique of problem solving and being able to apply that in the workplace uh, from the moment that they're hired. Um, and and it, it plays out a lot in the teamwork. Each person will be given certain tasks on a new project or a, a new, uh, uh, something that we're going to tackle and each person will have a piece that they'll have to figure out on their own. 
Um, and always the person that can handle multiple, a lot of information um, and be able to process a lot of information and make rational, well thought out decisions is the person that moves up and, and that I look for. I look for that quality even in hiring. I look for it in, in advancement, in hiring. Um, it's one of the number one things that I look for when hiring someone is their ability to critical think and problem solving.